Why does this ancient text spark such heated debate among scholars and theologians? The Book of Enoch describes forbidden knowledge and chilling revelations that have divided opinions for centuries. While it is included in the Ethiopian Christian scriptures, many scholars consider it heretical. This division raises important questions, what exactly is in the Book of Enoch that makes it so controversial? And why do some traditions accept it while others reject it? Next, we delve into the significance of Enoch himself. Enoch is a biblical patriarch who lived before the Great Flood. He is revered as a saint and is credited with authoring the Book of Enoch. What makes Enoch such a pivotal figure in biblical history? Interestingly, Enoch is mentioned in both the Old and New Testaments, which adds to his mystique. How do these references shape our understanding of Enoch and his writings? The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls was a monumental event in the study of ancient texts. Found near Qumran, these scrolls contain a wealth of knowledge, including the Book of Enoch. How did the discovery of these scrolls impact our understanding of early Jewish and Christian beliefs? The Dead Sea Scrolls offer a rare glimpse into the religious landscape of the time, and the inclusion of the Book of Enoch among these texts is particularly intriguing. One of the most captivating aspects of the Book of Enoch is its discussion of the origin of demons and the Nephilim. These mysterious beings have fascinated scholars and the faithful alike. What does the Book of Enoch reveal about their origins and roles in biblical events? The text also contains prophecies and apocalyptic visions that challenge conventional understanding. How do these visions compare to other apocalyptic literature? Enoch's visions of creation and the final judgment are profound and often unsettling. He describes the great flood and the ultimate judgment of the wicked. What insights does the Book of Enoch offer about creation and divine retribution? Themes of righteousness and divine justice are prevalent throughout the text, raising questions about morality and the human condition. Finally, we explore the reasons for the Book of Enoch's exclusion from the biblical canon. Early church fathers debated its authenticity, and some of its teachings were deemed inconsistent with traditional Jewish law. Why did these debates lead to the book being banned and excluded? What does this tell us about the formation of the biblical canon and the criteria used to include or exclude certain texts? Now, let's take a closer look at these topics, starting with the controversy surrounding the Book of Enoch. The Book of Enoch's Controversy The Book of Enoch is one of the most debated texts in religious history. Describing forbidden knowledge and chilling revelations, it has been a source of intrigue and contention for centuries. This ancient manuscript is known for its controversial content, which has sparked debate among scholars, theologians, and religious leaders. But what exactly makes it so controversial? The text is included in the Ethiopian Christian scriptures, which adds a layer of complexity to its history. In Ethiopia, the Book of Enoch is considered canonical and holds significant religious value. However, in many other Christian traditions, it is viewed with suspicion. Some scholars even consider it heretical. This stark contrast raises important questions. Why do some traditions embrace the Book of Enoch while others reject it? What are the specific teachings that have led to such polarized views? One of the main reasons for the controversy is the book's content. It includes detailed accounts of fallen angels, giants, and apocalyptic prophecies. These elements are not only dramatic but also challenge traditional views of divinity and creation. For example, the story of fallen angels descending to earth and mating with human women to create giants, known as the Nephilim, is a narrative that deviates significantly from mainstream biblical teachings. This story introduces complex themes about the nature of sin, rebellion, and divine punishment. Another point of contention is the Book of Enoch's prophecies. The text contains numerous apocalyptic visions that predict the end times and divine judgment. These prophecies are often more detailed and vivid than those found in the canonical Bible. For some, this makes the book a valuable source of esoteric knowledge and spiritual insight. For others, it raises questions about its legitimacy and the intentions behind its inclusion in religious discourse. Enoch's Significance Enoch is a fascinating figure in biblical history. As a patriarch who lived before the Great Flood, he occupies a unique place in religious tradition. Revered as a saint, Enoch is credited with authoring the Book of Enoch, a text that has captivated readers for millennia. But what makes Enoch such a pivotal figure? One of the most intriguing aspects of Enoch's story is his mention in both the Old and New Testaments. In the Old Testament, Enoch is described as a righteous man who walked with God and was taken up to heaven without experiencing death. This remarkable account sets Enoch apart from other biblical figures and adds to his mystique. In the New Testament, Enoch is mentioned in the Epistle of Jude, 
which references his prophecies about divine judgment. These references not only highlight Enoch's importance but also lend credibility to his writings. Enoch's significance is further underscored by his association with the Book of Enoch. This ancient text is attributed to him and is believed to contain his teachings and revelations. As the purported author, Enoch is seen as a conduit of divine knowledge. His visions and prophecies offer profound insights into the nature of the cosmos, the spiritual realm, and the fate of humanity. These elements make Enoch a key figure in the study of ancient religious texts and apocalyptic literature. Discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls was a watershed moment in the study of ancient texts. Found near Qumran, these scrolls contain a wealth of knowledge about early Jewish and Christian beliefs. Among these significant writings is the Book of Enoch. How did the discovery of these scrolls impact our understanding of religious history? The Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered in the mid-20th century in a series of caves near the Dead Sea. This archaeological find included thousands of fragments from over 900 manuscripts, dating back to the Second Temple period. The scrolls encompass a wide range of texts, including biblical manuscripts, apocryphal works, and sectarian writings. The inclusion of the Book of Enoch among these texts was particularly noteworthy. The presence of the Book of Enoch in the Dead Sea Scrolls indicates its importance and widespread use in ancient Jewish communities. This discovery provided scholars with valuable insights into the religious landscape of the time. It revealed that the Book of Enoch was not only known but also revered by certain Jewish sections. This challenged the prevailing view that the text was a marginal or fringe work. The Dead Sea Scrolls also offered a rare glimpse into the diversity of early Jewish and Christian beliefs. The scrolls showed that there was a rich tapestry of religious thought and practice, much of which was later suppressed or lost. The inclusion of the Book of Enoch in this collection underscored its significance and contributed to a broader understanding of ancient religious traditions. Mysteries and Teachings in the Book of Enoch the Book of Enoch is renowned for its enigmatic content, which delves into the origin of demons and the Nephilim. These mysterious beings have captured the imagination of scholars and the faithful alike. What does the Book of Enoch reveal about their origins and roles in biblical events? According to the text, a group of angels, known as the Watchers, descended to earth and took human wives. This union resulted in the birth of the Nephilim, a race of giants. The Watchers shared forbidden knowledge with humanity, teaching them various arts and sciences. This act of rebellion against divine order led to their punishment and the eventual destruction of the Nephilim by the Great Flood. This narrative offers a unique perspective on the origins of evil and the interplay between the divine and human realms. The Book of Enoch also contains numerous prophecies and apocalyptic visions. These include vivid descriptions of the end times, divine judgment, and the ultimate fate of the wicked. Enoch's visions are often more detailed and graphic than those found in the canonical Bible. They include scenes of cosmic upheaval, celestial battles, and the final triumph of good over evil. These elements make the book a rich source of esoteric knowledge and spiritual insight. One of the central themes in the Book of Enoch is the concept of divine retribution. The text emphasizes the importance of righteousness and the consequences of sin. Enoch's prophecies often focus on the fate of the wicked and the reward of the righteous. This dualistic worldview is a hallmark of apocalyptic literature and reflects broader themes in ancient religious thought. Secrets of Creation and Final Judgment Enoch's visions of creation and the final judgment are among the most profound and unsettling aspects of the Book of Enoch. He describes the Great Flood and the ultimate judgment of the wicked in vivid detail. What insights does the Book of Enoch offer about creation and divine retribution? According to the text, Enoch was granted a series of visions by God, revealing the secrets of creation and the cosmos. These visions provide a detailed account of the origins of the universe, the nature of the divine, and the structure of the spiritual realm. Enoch's descriptions often include intricate cosmological and theological concepts that challenge conventional understanding. For example, he describes a complex hierarchy of angels and celestial beings, each with specific roles and functions. The Book of Enoch also contains detailed accounts of the Great Flood, a cataclysmic event that was meant to cleanse the earth of wickedness. According to the text, the Flood was a divine judgment against the Watchers and their offspring, the Nephilim. Enoch's account offers a unique perspective on this well-known biblical event, highlighting themes of sin, punishment, and redemption. In addition to the Great Flood, the Book of Enoch describes the Final Judgment, a future event in which the wicked will be judged and punished. 
Enoch's visions include graphic depictions of the fate of the damned, who are condemned to eternal suffering. These scenes serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of sin and the importance of righteousness. Enoch's prophecies also emphasize the reward of the righteous, who are promised eternal life and divine favor. Reasons for the book's exclusion The Book of Enoch's exclusion from the biblical canon is a topic of much debate and speculation. Early church fathers debated its authenticity, and some of its teachings were deemed inconsistent with traditional Jewish law. Why did these debates lead to the book being banned and excluded from the canon? One of the main reasons for the Book of Enoch's exclusion was its controversial content. The text's detailed accounts of fallen angels, giants, and apocalyptic prophecies were seen as too radical and divergent from mainstream biblical teachings. Early church leaders were concerned about the potential for these teachings to cause confusion and division within the Christian community. As a result, they chose to exclude the book from the canon to maintain doctrinal unity. Another factor that contributed to the book's exclusion was its association with certain Jewish sections. The Book of Enoch was particularly revered by the Essenes, a Jewish sect known for their apocalyptic beliefs and ascetic lifestyle. The Essenes' teachings were often at odds with mainstream Jewish and early Christian thought. The association with this fringe group likely contributed to the book's marginalization and eventual exclusion. The debates about the Book of Enoch's authenticity also played a role in its exclusion. Some early church fathers questioned the book's authorship and its claims to divine revelation. These doubts cast a shadow over the text's legitimacy and contributed to its rejection. The decision to exclude the Book of Enoch from the canon was part of a broader effort to establish a coherent and authoritative body of scripture. Despite its exclusion from the canonical Bible, the Book of Enoch has continued to captivate readers and scholars. Its rich and enigmatic content offers a unique perspective on ancient religious thought and provides valuable insights into the development of early Jewish and Christian beliefs. The book's themes of divine retribution, apocalyptic visions, and the interplay between the divine and human realms remain relevant and thought-provoking. Conclusion The Book of Enoch is a fascinating and complex text that offers a wealth of knowledge about ancient religious beliefs and practices. Its detailed accounts of fallen angels, giants, and apocalyptic prophecies challenge traditional views of divinity and creation. Enoch's significance as a biblical patriarch and author adds to the text's mystique, while the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls has provided valuable context for understanding its importance. The book's controversial content, detailed prophecies, and unique teachings have sparked debate and intrigue for centuries. Its exclusion from the biblical canon was influenced by concerns about doctrinal unity, its association with fringe Jewish sects, and doubts about its authenticity. Despite these challenges, the Book of Enoch remains a rich source of esoteric knowledge and spiritual insight. As we continue to explore the mysteries of ancient texts, the Book of Enoch stands out as a testament to the diversity and complexity of early religious thought. It challenges us to reconsider our understanding of biblical events and the nature of the divine. What other secrets might this ancient manuscript hold? And how can its teachings inform our modern spiritual journey? Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Book of Enoch. We hope you found this episode of Celestial Chronicles enlightening and thought-provoking. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. What are your thoughts on the Book of Enoch? Do you think it should have been included in the Bible? Let us know in the comments below, and let's continue the conversation.